We continue our team coverage now with Shelby Lofton. UDOT is trying out laser beam technology that they say will make our roads safer. Utah is one of the first states to use this. And Shelby explains how LiDAR safety software actually works. This is going to allow us to make our intersections as safe as they can possibly be. Laser beams are the latest addition to Utah roads. So LiDAR gives us a 3D image. The Utah Department of Transportation has installed the light detection and ranging technology at five locations including 5900 South and State Street in Murray. And we can have easy access to it. There are a lot of vehicles out here, and so it's a great example for us to be able to look at. LiDAR uses artificial intelligence to craft a digital version of Salt Lake County streets. It maps it out the entire area with a 99.8% accuracy. This monitor shows the vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists in real time. It gathers data on how often someone runs a red, jaywalking, and near miss crashes. They happen quite a bit, but we don't have any data showing where near miss uh, crashes are happening. This technology is helping us uh, address that. If a pedestrian is taking their time crossing the street or maybe they even trip and fall while using the crosswalk, LiDAR should detect that and give them up to five more seconds of green light. It allows us to, to make um, adjustments after the fact as well. UDOT spokesperson John Gleason said LiDAR software costs about thirty to $40,000 per intersection. It's about on, um, on par with what we see. UDOT says it's far more accurate and faster than other technology, but engineers are waiting to see if it's worth keeping long term. Is it something that we can maintain easily? Is it something that's going to, to uh, stand the test of time? Utah winters, we have the extremes in uh, weather here. They're working toward fewer crashes and shorter commutes. In Murray, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. Shelby, thank you. Just one person hit by a car is too many. We've talked about that already this evening. Check out KSL's commitment to keeping Utah roads safe by heading on over to our website and finding our Stop for Students coverage. And if you have any concerns in your area, please reach out.